Hello, welcome to this video. Let's learn how to install the latest Kali Linux 2025.1 on VirtualBus. The first thing we need to do is to download VirtualBus and install it. Then secondly, we download Kali Linux. So we just head over to Google and type in virtual box and hit enter. Then we're going to click on the first link here that says virtual box. So I'm going to click on that. So this is a powerful open source virtualization software here. I have to choose the platform I want to install VirtualBox and I have a Windows operating system so I'm going to click on Windows Host. So here it's asking me to save my download. I'm going to put that on the desktop and say save. So the VirtualBox is uh, around 117 MB so it's downloading right now at the end of this download i will come back to continue the video the next thing for me to do is to install the virtual box so to do that i right click on it and run as admin click on run click on yes So I click on next, I have to accept the license, I click on next. Now here is the interface for us to choose where we're going to install VirtualBus. But I want it to be on drive C, so I click next. So here is a warning that installing Oracle VirtualBus will reset my network connection. So it means that if I have an active download, is going to affect it but i have nothing downloading at the moment so i'm going to click on next so here i just need to click on yes and here is an option to create shortcuts and other things so I, I want to leave them the way it is so i'm going to say next and right now i'm going to install So I'm going to click on finish while this is checked to start the Oracle Virtual Bus. And this is the Oracle Virtual Bus. So I go to the Kalinos website, which is Kali.org. So I go to download, I go with installer image and here I have Kali Linux 2025.1. So the file size is 4.1 gig. So what I'll do is to click on download. And I'm going to click on save to download this. I have downloaded this before, so I'm going to stop this download. Now let's go and install this. So right now I'm going to open virtual bus. So this was the installation we did on a, on Kali Linux version 2024. So I'm going to add a new one here. So we begin by saying new. I want to create a new installation. So let's create the virtual machine that that installation is going to depend on. So I start by saying click on new. So what is the name of this? operating system 
or i'm gonna just give it kali 2025 then it's asking me to install it on this location but i want to put it on another e drive so i'm going to select the iso image i downloaded from kali.org and how do i do that i click on this drop down i select others and here is the iso file which is the kali linux 2025 i select it and i say open and immediately everything here changes to linux ubuntu and the rest as you can see so from here we move on down to to this everything is grayed out we go to hardware and here i have one cpu selected and two gigabytes out of the 24 gigabytes available on this pc so i'm going to go with that and i'll come to hard disk 25 gig is selected so i'm good with this so i'm going to continue and uh, actually i can create a virtual hard disk or i use an existing virtual disk file i would like to create a virtual hard disk because i'm installing this on a new drive which is drive e so i'll go with Thirty gigabytes. So I'll say finish. So here is the virtual machine, and here is my system configuration. So now I need to start and power the virtual machine because if you look here, it says it's powered off. So to power it on and install Kali, I'll go to start. You can see here this changes to show so i'm going to click on it and i want to select graphical install by hitting enter on the keyboard then let me get rid of this so here quickly i'm going to choose english and i'm going to choose my country so you choose your country from this list and you say continue for the keyboard i'll choose american english so here it says please enter the host name for this system the system gave us this so i'm going to leave it by vbox which is virtual box i'll say continue and here is asking for network i'm just going to leave it at kali you can use any name you like here and say continue here is asking for users and password so here it says full name for the new user so i'm going to put mr right here i'll say continue username for the account i'm going to leave it at mr right as well so password i'm going to put my password remember a strong password contains lowercase uppercase symbols and numbers so i'm going to say continue so here i'm going to select use entire disk i'll say continue and here continue and here all files in one partition recommended i'll say continue here there's nothing to choose so i'm going to say continue and uh, write the changes to disk i'll say yes and continue so here i'm going to say continue
So I'm going to leave it on yes and say continue. And I'm going to choose this dev slash SDA. So I'm going to say continue. And that marks the completion of the installation. So we're going to boot now. So we're booting into Kalilinos. So let me impute my username and password. So that is it. So again, minimize and restore. And that is it. We have installed Kali Linux 2025.1. So, this is basically how to install the latest Kali Linux. So, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one.